guys and welcome to my next P.O. Box video. Uh, so, okay, here's the thing. Um, after my last P.O. Box video, I had a couple of packages, but not a ton. So I was kind of waiting for more to come in and things got busy and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden, I got a ton, a ton coming in. I think it's getting closer to the holiday season. People are feeling appreciative, um, which I am so ridiculously grateful for. I can't even tell you, but that's why it kind of took me a while because it just kept piling up. But then I was like, I don't know when I'm going to have time to actually do this given my schedule for the next month or so. So I am going to try to get most of this done in one sitting. If not, it will, I will get the rest of everything done. I think, I think I'm going to do three parts to this video. So they're just going to keep coming because I have a bit of stuff to open. Um, and yeah, so if you sent something and I kind of just put them all into one pile. So if you sent something a little earlier on, I don't get it to it in this video. I will get to it eventually. I'm about to go right through all of <laughs> everything. Um, it's behind me. That's why most of them, the packages are behind me. So that's why I'm pointing that way. Um, just so you guys know, today is December 11th. That's when I am filming this. I really don't know, again, with my schedule, when I'm going to be able to edit and upload, but I'm going to try my damnedest to get this all out. Um, so if you have a package that was sent uh, by December 11th, I went to the P.O. Box today. So um, just, you know, I'm just letting you guys know um, that I will be getting to it either in this video or in the next couple of P.O. Box videos that I will hopefully be getting out very shortly for you guys. Okay. Also, disclaimer, uh, people are working on roofs still from the hurricane. So if you hear loud whatever, uh, that's what that is. Okay. So let's just get right into this and I don't even know where to start. Um, so I do have a I believe it's a letter, so let's start with with one of those. Okay, so this is a letter from David, and he says, I wrote to you last December giving you a list of Doctor Who stories for the first six years, detailing how many episodes were in each story and which ones were missing. I still have that uh, uh, letter, and I'm going to use it when I start planning out what in the world I'm gonna do uh, with a classic who next year. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. Um, so this letter is also just some uh, kind of hot, I mean, it's a lot more than that. It's so very well thought out and everything, but um, kind of help the helpful hints and things like that for when I do start reacting. It is a bit I, I haven't decided anything yet on exactly how I'm going to do everything um, when it comes to Classic Who. Uh, I'm And the stories, because some of the stories are ridiculously long and some of them, I don't really know what what's happening, how often, all of that stuff. Um, but it does write <clears throat> kind of the, the, the bit of the um, series one all... Uh, uh, and what episodes are there and what episodes aren't. I am going to have to make a decision about, you know, the, the stories that have episodes missing and things like that. So I'm going to have to, to, to take a good look at that. I hope he doesn't mind me sharing kind of the last little bit. He says, enjoy the classic series and we will enjoy your reactions, which reminds me you've said many times that your Doctor Who followers cannot seem to agree on anything. It's true. Um, bearing that in mind, keep being honest in your views and reactions. Whatever you say will upset someone, so don't worry about it. Um, I have said before that if you dislike a story that I like or you like a story that I hate, it doesn't matter as we all have our own opinions and they are our opinions, keeping true to yourself. Thank you, that's very, very sweet. Um, yes, yeah, there's a lot of division in the Doctor Who fandom. Um, and uh, he also tacked on, uh, I thought I would just add a few suggestions of programs that you may like to watch, um, which would be nice. Um, and it says Scott and Bailey, Vera, Red Dwarf, 
yes minister and yes prime minister faulty's at listen faulty towers is one of my favorite shows of all time so you know i could recite it for you that's how often i've seen it um and the sweeney um i oh my god i love uh oh my god there's so many um american shows that i really like um I have some Buffy videos. I have some, but you can go check them out. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. This is, uh, honestly, I love getting kind of insight from you guys that kind of know more about the problem with reacting to things about like classic who and stuff like that. The problem with reacting to stuff like that is I can't do a ton of research without spoiling myself. So all of this stuff is really, really helpful. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, this was lovely and I will read more in depth uh, later and trust me, I am using your original letter to guide me and help me through Classic Who, which is going to be quite, quite the task, isn't it? Thank you so much. Okay, going for the next one, I believe it's an Amazon package. So it says... Um, hi, Seska says, enjoy your gift. It doesn't say who it's from. But <gasps> oh my lord! Oh my lord. So it is the 13th Doctor. This is, it says, vinyl collectible. Let me take a look. Um, it's a Funko type, but it's not like the regular... I don't know too much about the that Funko life, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not so up to date. But, oh, that's so cute. She does have a pretty cool... I do like her outfit a bit. Um, I like it a lot. And I don't know if she's going to change it at all or anything like that, but... Oh my God, thank you so much. That Oh, that's so sweet. Oh my God. And I am, it, it, I am, so I'm kind of, by the time I'm recording this, I've seen about half of the season so far. So I'm really interested to see how the rest of her first season goes. But thank you so much. Oh my God. It's actually really adorable. And do you notice in all of her episodes, her hair is just phenomenal all the time and just like completely beautifully blow-dried and everything. I noticed that stuff. Anybody else? Anyway, I love it. Thank you so much. So I have another card right here. I think it's a card. <laughs> I... <laughs> okay, so I, this person did start off this message saying that, you know, they, they have followed me for a while and that they, they don't uh, really post anything on Twitter or comment anything. And sending a letter is, is pretty out of character. Um, I So I don't want to say who they are or anything like that. Um, if I don't, I don't know if they would be okay with that or anything like that. But I just want to say this letter uh, who um, sent this means a lot to me. You have hit a lot of points that have been kind of stressing me out lately and have really, um, you've just really honestly said some very, very sweet things um, about me and my videos and um, honestly, it is genuinely uh, uh, really touched my heart <laughs> and thank you. Uh, fuck. Thank you. I'll just say that. 
Um, whoo, that was, that was something. That was something. Thank you very much uh, for your kind words. And um, I hope I continue to make things that you enjoy. Whoo, that was, ooh, buddy. <laughs> that was something. So thank you for that letter. Okay, so my next uh, package is, it's kind of heavy. Um, I'm ready. Okay. Let's see if there's a card or a note. I always have to check that first. Oh, it says Merry Christmas. See, I knew the Christmas, the Christmas stuff was coming. This, uh, so it says, hello, Jess, this is a gift to commemorate your Doctor Who experience so far and to give you a, um, taste of your Doctor Who journey still to come. Um, this is from Ian. Ian, I know who you are. <laughs> Thank you, Ian. Oh. Oh my lord. So this is Doctor Who, 12 doctors, 12 stories, 12 postcards. What is this? What is this? It's one for each doctor, I guess. Okay, I'm opening it. We're diving in, people. Let's see what this is. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, hold on. Oh, so those are the postcards in the back. Okay, look at this right here. This is cool. Just the, the side of it right here, if you can, I don't know. It's like all of their outfits, and you know I appreciate a good outfit. I can't wait until I get to Mr. Crazy Pants over here. That's who I call, that's what I call him. I think that's six, with the crazy ass outfit. Mm-hmm. I, oh, I could do a whole video talking about doctor's outfits and which ones I love. So there's stories for each of the doctors, I think. And they're in, so this is... The first doctor, oh I love, oh I love. Second, and I think they're still in black and white, which is kind of cool. I'm gonna go through all of them, so buckle up. Third, I've heard that I'll probably like three. That's just what I've heard, people's predictions. Four, funny thing about fourth, um, when I went home, for Thanksgiving and I was waiting for my luggage in baggage claim somebody had like the fourth doctor scarf and I don't know if it was just the exact right colors I even pulled up an image of the fourth doctor on my phone to be like is that a Doctor Who fan or do they just have a scarf that's very similar but it was really long too so anyway fourth doctor that's random trivia that you guys probably don't care about um, fifth with the celery, six because he's crazy. Look at the crazy. Look at the crazy. I'm so about the colors right here. Love it. Okay, let's go to seven with the question marks. I'm kind of about that. I feel like. Hmm. They probably sell a vest like this, don't they? I would assume somewhere. I could rock that. I could rock that for some classic reactions, I think. Um, eight. Love Eight's outfit. Very, very um, unique. And I love the, the, the jacket. Um, nine. I have a deep love for Nine's outfit. I really, really do. Um, it's simple, but it's good. 10, we have the, what would be the very, very long, and I wish was slightly more fitting, coat. <laughs> but we're at 10. Oh, and then here we go. Honey! Oh, it's honey. Bow ties are cool. Ah! I just, let's, I'm just gonna read this now. Yeah. Oh, and they have a little... Kind of their kind of profile 
right there. And then of course, again, great outfits with the 12 with his, the little red right there. Oh, love. Again, I could do a whole video talking, but I don't think anybody would want to see that. Hence why it, it's not going to be a part of Doctor Who December. So then we have the postcards of every single doctor. Ah, yeah, I think I kind of want to, uh, he says in the back of the card, many people have placed the postcards inside a frame and created an interesting picture. Ooh, I should do that. I love it. I'm, I absolutely love it. Thank you so much, Ian. Okay, on to the next package. Let's see. Is there a note? Okay, there's a note inside. Okay. Please read on camera. All right. I love when I get instructions because sometimes I don't know how much you guys want, want out there. Dear Saska, I hope this letter along with the gift has arrived to you safely. I have been a viewer since your reactions to series five of Doctor Who and continue to enjoy your reactions to the latest series as well as your reactions to the Punisher and Sarah Jane Adventures. Um, recently, I was very lucky to attend a special Doctor Who convention in my hometown of Manchester, UK. Um, I went dressed as the ninth doctor, the easiest one to pull off though, but I mean, I approve of the outfit choice. Just, uh, you look great. There's a picture. So, um, my second favorite behind Tom Baker and got to meet the fifth doctor, um, and the eighth doctor. Oh, I want to go to one so bad, so bad. Um, um, as well as several companions from the classic series, one of which was John Leeson, the voice of K-9 in both classic and new who. Knowing how much you love K-9, I thought it would be nice to have him sign an autograph to you. I asked him specifically address you as Mistress Seska. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Just like K-9 would and he was more than happy to do so. I hope you like this signed print of your favorite metal dog. I wish you all the best with your channel and everything you do in life. Oh my God. Kindest regards, Jonathan. Oh my God. And he says his name on YouTube is, is the big picture. If you guys see him in the comments or anything like that. Oh, you look great as nine. You pull off nine very, very well, let me just say. Oh my God. <gasps> oh. oh my God, guys. I'm not, I'm not gonna take it out of the plastic just yet because I'm gonna have to maybe frame it and figure that out, but here it is. God. And it says, Mistress Seska, uh, tail wags from your friend K9. And it says, uh, John Leeson right down there. Oh my God. You guys know how I feel about K9. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you. Oh my God. I don't even, that really means a lot to me that you would that you would do that for me. Thank you so much. Oh my god. I can't believe that. Oh my god. Thank you. Okay, moving on to the next package. I'm trying to oh. Okay. I had to figure out where to cut it. Okay, there is no message, I don't think, and it doesn't say who it's from, but it is Wait, can you see? Can you see? You're seeing like my the reflection of my camera. I'm sorry. Look at the Cyberman. Oh my lord. Oh, that's so awesome. So <laughs> the Cyberman with arm gun. Oh my god. So this I think is a from a collection of action figures that I think would be around maybe season eight of, I think, I would assume around that time, maybe it was released, um, given the other ones. And, but thank you so much for getting me my on 
Cybermen. You guys know how I feel about Cybermen. I love them so much. They're my favorite villain. <laughs> I love them. Oh my god. Thank you. Oh my god, my collection for Doctor Who, like, action figures and stuff is gonna be sickening real soon. Oh my god. This is, it just, this made my day. Thank you so much. Okay, moving on to the next package. Hi, Seska says, just wanted to give a little to show our appreciation. My 14-year-old son mowed the lawns to buy you these gifts. Oh! from Chad and Ethan. You, I just replied to your tweet the other day. Oh my God. Oh my God. He mowed the lawn to buy, oh. Oh my Lord. Oh my God, thank you. So it is a Doctor Who, I believe, comic book with, look at all, this artwork is stunning, with the 13th Doctor there and then all of the doctors, kind of previous doctors around. And, oh my god. And let's see what it is. It's The Many Lives of Doctor Who. Oh, oh my God, that's Ian and Barbara. Oh, there's one of like every single one. There's a doctor, there's, so you see, there's like the, the first doctor and the second doctor on that page. And come on, you guys know, I'm just gonna cut to the chase. There he is. There's honey. There's honey right there with his with his bow tie right there. You know I had to just cut to the chase there. Oh, love it. Oh my god. Love it. And then there's the 12th doctor and Bill. And then we get to kind of leading up. Oh, it's all leading up to 13 right here with her kind of first first bits in Doctor Who. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next one, which is kind of a big package over here. It's kind of, it's kind of big. Um, and it's, okay, let's see. Oh Lord, it's a big, I love these bags from Amazon. I think that's, okay. So it says, oh, I'm gonna cry. Okay. Watching your Walking Dead reactions and seeing your utter love and respect for Rick or Andrew Lincoln and your passion for the show has really been <laughs> great and gave me a new outlook on my favorite shows. Thank you for that. Um, Brant, it, his username is, is ranting. Um, is always fun and uh, thank you. I lost my favorite TV character this year and I don't want to talk about it, um, but thank you. That's very sweet. Um, I love, <clears throat> oh no, <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it just says Rick Grimes. <laughs> Yes, yes. Oh my god. 
Oh, I love it. Oh, and there's just, there's Rick. Hey, Rick. Hey. Hey, sweetie. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thank you. Oh, my Lord. What a phenomenal gift. Ah. It means a lot that um, somebody would get me something that had to do with Rick because it was a big, it was a big deal for me. Um, he's kind of the reason I have a channel in the first place, Andrew Lincoln, and the way that he plays Rick Grimes. Made me fall in love with TV, made me want to share it with people. So, I don't want to cry, but uh, thank you. This really, it really means the world. Thank you. Okay, and possibly the last one for this video. The top of it says, Jess, a.k.a. Seska says. So, do you know what's my favorite pastime? And it doesn't happen that often. But my favorite thing in the world is watching other YouTubers trying to say my channel name. <laughs> it's so funny, because I write it like one word, so I guess it's confusing, but it is too. <clears throat> or just Rosa, who doesn't even try. I love it whenever she tries to mention me in her videos, which isn't too often, but every so often, she's just like, I'm not pronouncing her channel name. <laughs> love her. Okay. There's a, uh, I don't think there's any, um, name of who sent it, but thank you. I got a little Missy Funko. Oh my God. You guys know how I feel about Missy. And oh my Lord. I believe this is now. See, here's the thing. Judging by the outfit, it looks a little more Death in Heaven Dark Water than Magician's Apprentice. And yes, they are different dresses. Your girl knows. Um, uh, yes. Oh my god. Love it. What a queen. Am I right? Uh, thank you for whoever. It doesn't say who sent it, but I really, really appreciate it and I love... Oh. My God, my my Funko collection's doing great, and oh my God, I just uh, I love Missy. They give her those lashes too. I love it. Thank you, thank you so so much, guys. This was absolutely a, an amazing PO box opening. I got emotional. I got such amazing gifts from you. I absolutely wholeheartedly believe that I am not worthy of any of these things that you send me. It's amazing that you guys can can honestly like bring tears to my eyes with the stuff that you send me and I'm just so appreciative. Not only that like you guys, you know, put the effort of sending me something, but you guys are you genuinely really think about what to send and and I really really appreciate that. Um, like I said, there will be more videos. Um, I just have kind of a big pile of stuff over there. So I'm going to break them up a little bit. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this PO box opening. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.